enabled the uh, the press Davison car to get out in front and start pull away up the back straight. Actually, this will be interesting. John doesn't look like he's uh, had a problem. He must have missed a gear or had a little bit of a moment, but uh, he certainly doesn't seem to have lost any pace. The guys are on lap 18. As they come down around after the Dunlop Bridge, it is the Davison press car out in front. Blanchard, Blanchard just sitting back in second spot. Actually, it's the best lead we've seen anybody have for a while in this race. Let's see whether John Blanchard actually comes in or whether he presses on. Looks like the car's pressing on. Cole, there is another car off down at uh, XR62, by the way. You might be able to pick it up. Yeah, there certainly is, Tony. As we have a look through, just try and work out who it is. It's right under the XR6 sign, of course. So somebody's off down there. Craig, can you pick it up in the glasses? No, can't quite get the number. Car 95, from uh, what we've just been told, sitting in the sand pit. Which, if we can find it, is the Tracy Malden Graham Wind Cup car. Well, the rain's certainly not easing up. Not making it any easier for the drivers out there. If anything, the uh, the track seems to be getting a little bit wetter with the spray that uh, the cars are picking up. I think you just have to say, this is the pace I'm going to drive at. If yep. there's another car up there that you may be able to pass, fine. But the, really, you just have to keep driving around now, put up with the conditions and uh, not try to set any world records. Although, having said that, uh, the Ward Holmes car seems to be back on the pace. Now, there's a guy that had brake problems, spun the car around every time he touched the brakes, and then all of a sudden he's back out there almost running back on the pace again. I'd say uh, David Wood and uh, Leon Fletcher, I think it is, uh, sitting in a very, very good spot. They're, uh, they're able to sit back there and uh, they're really uh, driving a very heady race back there, staying out of everyone's road. And uh, uh, it's a long way to go still. We've still got uh, over two hours to go, two hours Colin, and uh, you might seven just minutes. Just the um, Graham Winthrop apparently has reported he's been there for four laps. He has been hit in the tail and he's just a bit concerned that the thing hasn't been moved. Oh dear, so uh, when that happens, there's not much you can do about it. Uh, so, uh, no, there's not. The team just a little bit frustrated, but I guess they'll get it out shortly and get it back and see if they can get back in the race. Yeah, bad luck for them. Now we've got another car in the pits. Got quite a bit of damage to the left-hand side of the car both over the front wheel and the back door. The front panel has been uh, taken care of and they'll be back out shortly. Well, I'm not going to say this because it's two hours and one minute into the race. One right. hour and one minute into the race. Try it again, 59 minutes into the race. We have a one hour leader. Now, Davison went past in the lead, but really, do they take it after the first hour? Will Blanchard be able to make that move or will Davison stay in front? Because if it wasn't the last lap, it certainly will be this lap because at this moment there is exactly two hours remaining in the race. We have just passed the first hour. Once again, the lead cars come down round under the Dunlop Bridge and it is still Davison out in front with Blanchard running in second spot. Back in third, we still see O'Rourke with Bethel in fourth, Fletcher in fifth, and Chicka Choppo dropped all the way back to eighth spot. So we'll keep an eye on Chicka Choppo's car because he was up into third at one stage. Car, car 30, 31, David Landry, John Alessi. That's the car that spun around just around the corner from the Australian Grand Prix, straight. Of course, they're very lucky to have John here this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Normally driving in uh, Formula One is John Alessi. Well, just quickly, the uh, the top running is uh, Davison leading, obviously, the, 
the Haley Blanchard car second, then the O'Rourke car in third spot, the Bethel number seven car in fourth spot, the Richard White car has moved up to fifth spot, so they've uh, put a bit of a move on, then the Fletcher Wood car up into sixth spot, Lang is in seventh spot, Chekakoto in eighth, Walsh in the 57 car ninth, then we've got Wilson in the 10th spot in car number four, Tony. I would say the pace car will go into the pits on this one. Yep. And we lights will are be off. Lights are off, pace, pace car, car is off, and we are back under race conditions once again. And still leading them, there goes the two, Sean Press and Davison, followed by Blanchard. The next car to come past the 34 car of Green and O'Rourke. That is in third spot. Tell you what's interesting, Cobb, there's hardly been a car come down the lane that is not dropping stones out from the kitty litter somewhere or has a bent fender on it. Everyone's sort of uh, picked up a scratch somewhere along the line, it seems, from all the cars that have come in. Quite amazing, isn't it, in the HQ race? Well, the two lead cars, the uh, Sean Press car, still going up. Uh, up the hill and down into the XR8, XR6 corner, up, up under the Dunlop Bridge and faces once more. They are still the two two cars that uh, everybody is trying to chase. Number eight car, Cole, just come in. Seems that a lot of guys are having trouble with their windscreen wipers. Can't imagine that in HQ, can you? Chicka Choppo is in eighth spot at this moment. Yeah, Chicka Choppo lost a couple of places that time around. So it must have had a bit of a moment somewhere around the track. Of course, uh, a couple of the cars out here running uh, engines which were built by Chicka Choppo from South Australia. Yes, uh, a very keen uh, engine builder over from South Australia and uh, a, a driving a front-running car himself, of course. As they come onto the Elko Gas Main Street right now, We've still got the Sean Press Davison car followed very closely by the Branchard Haley car. Now, these next cars have been lapped at, uh, until you get the 34 car. Now, the 34 car is actually going to put a lap on the uh, 89, and he'll uh, have a clear run. Then the 74 car that went past was, of course, the uh, Richard White uh, Michael Fitzgerald car in fourth spot. We're about nine minutes off the halfway mark where I would expect uh, most people would have done their driver changes and whatever tyre changes they may think necessary. Uh, I do see a, a line coming into the Elko Auto Gas Supplies main straight starting to dry out. Just a bit of a line up there. So it'll be interesting to find out whether or not that is going to affect the speed. You can actually see it. The, the shine's gone off the corner. So with a little bit of luck, uh, they'll start picking up the pace a bit. Now, that'll make a huge change. It uh, looks like a little bit of uh, rain on its way, though, so you never know. No, you do not. I mean, we don't expect it to dry out, that's for sure. But uh, it will change the complexion of the race. As, uh, as I was saying, we're only about eight or nine minutes away from the halfway mark. And I guess if you're going to have had a stop, uh, you really would want to do it at uh, around about the halfway mark so you get over and done with and know what you're doing then. Aussie Newhouse, gee, they've come up very, very well indeed. 18th when you think that they start at the absolute back of the pack. And down in 21 spot is the uh, Greg Bethel car, the number seven car, on the lead lap, on the, on the actual uh, 36th lap. Now they started and came into the pits and had a long stop and uh, back out uh, basically on the lead lap. As the third place car goes past right now and Richard White really throwing a challenge out to try and pick up that third spot on the track and the third spot in the race. John Blanchard uh, and his crew, they're pretty happy with the car. They're just saying, hey, listen, we're just turning over some laps. We don't need to really race all that hard at the moment. Keep the leader in. Uh in tow, that's all we need to do. They're pretty happy with the setup that they've got. Well, they're sitting in a good spot. They certainly are. So, five minutes to the halfway mark. Gee, we'll be flat out doing 40 laps in this, uh, 80 laps in this race if uh, we maintain this. Uh, we all thought uh, around, I think we did 128 late laps last year out at Calder. Would have thought 105, 110 here today, but of course, uh, weather conditions haven't allowed for that. Yeah, too true. Well, Davison got a decent lead that time around the NGK corner. 
Blanchard a fair way behind, well, at least probably 10, 15 car lengths. Cole, as you know, the Elko gas people, which are uh, sponsoring the race this weekend, the car has had a little bit of trouble, but Tracy Moulden is actually in the car now. She's out there circulating, and she's just going to go out to do a good job for a sponsor like she's done all weekend. Now, the interesting thing, of course, with the... Uh with the Haley Blanchard car. As we know, um, the Haley boys have been only racing HQs now for a couple of years. This is their third three-hour race. The yep. first one, they, they came in in 40th position. Last year, they were in 22nd. Last year, we had sunshine. This year, we've got uh, rain to contend with, but the same for everybody. So Davison coming in. It looks like Blanchard will be as well. So the two race leaders coming in for a change. Yeah, this is the interesting uh, tactics. Both Blanchard coming in. staying out. Now, that is a driver's discretion. What he's done, he saw the lead car come in. He actually was told to come in on this lap. I was down there when they held the sign out. But he obviously saw the other car go in, and I guess it's a psychological thing. I'll lead for a couple of laps. 47 laps down. First place car. Yes, uh, John Blanchard is going to uh, have the pace car in front of him. <laughs> well, by the looks of things, Blanchard has pulled into the pits for the driver change. Number of cars start to come in now. Yep, the pits are open, so uh, a lot of cars electing to come in now. So Neville Haley will get into the uh, auto track car. Boy, they've been there all day. How would, you, how would you be coming in, just being unlucky to pick when you when you did shoot into the pits? 33 car back in 19th position. Actually, they're in 20th position right now. Lights on top of the pace car out now, Tony. So this time round should be racing as Neville Haley comes down the main straight now. And we'll try and get around onto the back of the freight train. flag gets waved as the leader goes past and the leader is car number seven car number seven Greg Bethel and Michael Hibbert and we are back the first 12 cars are on lap 51 in fact the first 13 cars now across the line for the 51st time Is it possible that the guys can get through the next hour without us having another yellow? And uh, yeah, it'd be interesting. It'd uh, certainly bunch up the field once again. Yes, if nothing else, it will do that. It's been a very interesting day's racing. Yes, yeah, certainly has. Haley Blanchard car back up into fourth place so they've obviously